Good morning. I uh, got up a little bit early this morning to get the cool of the day and less traffic noise to show you um, British Columbia's special flower. This is a flowering dogwood tree. It is native to British Columbia and uh, this particular species is um, close on to 25 meters high. That's the height of a three-story building. Okay. I'm going to try to pan and stop on occasion just to show you some of the pistol stamens, quite unique. Its um, main feature is that it has a four petal flower that um, attracts its pollinators. A little while in this clip I will, um, or in this uh, YouTube video, I will classify the pollinators and the uh, and the uh, duration and the usual range for this flowering plant. This particular one I found on 15th Street in North Vancouver, um, British Columbia. Um, I have seen them growing in the wild in such places as uh, um, Buttle Lake near Strathcona Park on Vancouver Island. I've also seen them in the wild in the interior of British Columbia. When I went out this morning to take photographs of the Pacific Dogwood, which is the provincial flower of the province of British Columbia here in Vancouver, um, which is part of that province, I um, had not done my research as thoroughly as I should have ahead of time. Um, luckily, I have made it uh, myself, or availed myself of an excellent library that has a, a tremendous amount of information on the species and and other ones as well. The first book that I referred to is called Plants of Coastal uh, British Columbia by Pojar McKinnon and McKinnon, I guess, and they. Uh, talk about the flowers actually being four to six uh, brachae or petals it would be they would be called petals in another species and that the um, the seeds are actually a red color they're one centimeter long in, in the fall one centimeter is about a third of an inch for reference so they're very very small for, uh, seeds they grow from um, uh, coastal British Columbia up to in the Fraser Canyon as far as 40 miles or 60 kilometers north of Hope, British Columbia in the Fraser Valley for Fraser Canyon. Uh, they also grow in western Washington and uh, they grow in Oregon along um, the upper area of the gorge and they grow in certain parts of northern California. <coughs> One of the um, largest grouping of uh, native uh, Pacific dogwood that I've ever seen personally was in Strathcona Park near Buttle Lake. It's uh, halfway between Gold River and Campbell River on Vancouver Island. They're very, very um, prolific on the eastern coast of Vancouver Island as well as the Pacific... Uh, uh, I'm, <laughs> I apologize, as well as the... Uh, Pacific side, the western side of of the mainland in British Columbia. They grow generally up to um, up to uh, anywhere between 20 uh, feet and 30 feet high. That would be um, between mm, about uh, 10 to 20, 25 meters on occasion. <clears throat> and um, they can be very large, as was the one that I uh, videotaped this morning. Uh, the flowers are really quite interesting. They, they, I thought that they had just four um, uh, petals, but they in fact have uh, up to six 
the um, and those are um, very often um, just a wash. The, the entire tree very often is entirely white when you see it from a distance. Uh, I noticed that in Strathcona Park, for instance. I turned a corner and there was mile after mile or kilometer after kilometer of white and it was just like snow had fallen on the trees. It was all beautiful dogwoods. The flowering dogwood or Pacific dogwood in British Columbia is protected by law. It's uh, the official um, flower of the uh, province of British Columbia as I previously mentioned. It is in Cornus natili is the uh, Greek name for it. It um, will actually uh, successfully be um, reseeded or restratified. Um, you can take the uh, seeds off in the fall, September or so, and uh, and uh, put them in loam and uh, and uh, conifer forest uh, duff, and they will um, um, overwinter and then be transplantable, <clears throat> or you can actually just transplant them right in the fall, and they will do well as small plants in the shade or uh, of other larger trees and then they will eventually break out into their own uh, later on in life full sunshine. They shouldn't be started in full sun however. So they're very very interesting plants to uh, to study and to propagate if you're in uh, British Columbia or Washington State or Oregon or certain parts of California they'll grow well in your garden. Thank you.